สถานีวิทยุสรารม AM 1575การทูตเพื่อประชาชนเพื่อไทยก้าวไกลทันโลก
um, they, uh, the Thai embassy in Berlin contacted our, our Thai professor and he asked us who would like to go. So we applied and fortunately they decided to um, accept me for this program. And, and what about and what about you? How do you hear of the program? Oh, I hear about the program from Facebook, <laughs> uh, from the uh, <laughs> yes, from uh, the Thai embassy, um, and yes, it's very interests me. So for um, yes, because the, the royal project um, of the royal house, um, there's uh, various of uh, 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 good uh, projects to uh, enhance. Um, uh, our pos uh, potential. Um, has has this program been going on for many years, or is this the first time? I think it's already taken place last year, but I'm not sure whether that was the first time. Um, I was not sure. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure that this is uh, the second time, and it was initiated by uh, the current uh, ambassador of. Um, uh, um, yes, I'm just wondering because um, whether you have the previous have met the previous group or had they talked about it? Um, I know that there was another student from my university who went last year but I didn't get to know him so oh, okay <laughs> well, we have we have to change that don't we <laughs> 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 because soon I think if we um, make it an annual project then soon enough there'll be a group of um, alumni so to speak of this mm. program and it would be really wonderful to be able to get together and take this program to the next level. Yes, yes so um, what other projects and activities have you guys done so far? Well, um, we've um, only been to the Thai German Green Economy Workshop in the morning and um, most of us um, actually arrived in Bangkok today, 6 a.m. So we haven't <laughs> actually uh, uh, begun visiting any uh, royal projects yet. Oh, as I see. So you guys are still jet lag right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're a little bit sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, um, what do the programs comprise of? So, oh, yes, um, you already talked about um, that it will be, you'll be visiting at the border area and the royal projects. Uh, which, which royal projects do you know? Um, for example, maybe uh, visit uh, Dai Tung development project in the north in Chiang Rai um, from uh, it's uh, a project um, founded by the mother of Thai King and yes or on the border uh, tomorrow morning we will visit uh, Masai Thai Lake Borders Market so basically um, they'll be spending this weekend I mean the past the past weekend um, in the Ching in the north of Thailand, which um, the weather it's um, actually beautiful around now. It's not it's not too hot. It started to rain a little bit, isn't it? Well, we're going for a drought right now, so it, it hopefully it <laughs> rains. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully it much. rains. Not too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, is there any like particular project in the list that you guys are very interested in, like that speaks out to you? Well, oh. Oh. Oh, there's many projects that is uh, very uh, interest so uh, so in the end of program we will also visit uh, Sake, um, and the Buffalo School mm -hmm. uh, I think this is very inter uh, interesting for um, so German um, student who is I think it's amazing to to visit there. Yes, the, yes. the Buffalo School, it's um, founded by Her Royal Highness, uh, Princess Mahatakri Sirinton. And I've heard I've heard about it, actually. It'd be very interesting. Yeah. Yes, I agree. I think the, the most interesting uh, thing about this program is the wide range of, of projects we'll be able to see. Because if you come to Thailand as a tourist, you might not be able to get this insight that we are uh, offered here by this program. And what about you? Well, uh, personally, I was very interested um, in the royal project at uh, Doyangha because, um, well, I was I w always wondered since a couple of years how um, avocados have been uh, coming into uh, Thailand and um, been grown in Thailand as well and other um, 
other vegetables and fruits that aren't ordinarily um, growing in Thailand. Yes, and, um, um, the, the fruits that are not tropical, th- yes. tropical fruits, basically. So it's very interesting, actually, and I've heard a lot of uh, great, um, great experiences from other people that have been there and always said that it was is one of the places to go in uh, the Chiang Mai province. Yes, this um, this royal project it's quite interesting because um, it has changed what in the um, I guess the the drugs the um, you know that they've been growing in the area opiums opiums they used to be known in the triangle area to these uh, new crops basically introduced the new crops like strawberries macadamia. And um, of course, it provides like extra work for the locals right. in the area as well. So, and it's it's not it's not just um, the the encouragement for the planting, but it also the whole the whole chain, the the production, the marketing, and also there are shops, the royal project shops all over Thailand that um, sell these products as well. So, it's um it's it's been very um, very successful. I'd like to ask a little bit. I heard that um, after the program, you you <coughs> will have a chance to um, stay behind a little bit. Is there any one of you that will take this opportunity to explore Thailand? Yes, yes. I will stay for another two and a half weeks and visit my host family and my friends from Hat Yawuti Alai and maybe go diving too. Because <laughs> diving in Germany is not as beautiful as in Thailand, of course. <laughs> and and the the bonus is the water here. It's quite warm as well, yes. isn't it? That's great. <laughs> and what about you? Well, I'm um, going to visit a uh, family in uh, Lampoon in the northern region as well. And um, after that, I will be coming back to Thailand and will be... Um, searching for material in the archives and in uh, the the uh, library in the uh, Siam Society. When was the last time you saw your family in Lampoon? Um, actually, recently, uh, in June, I was uh, I made a trip to uh, to Thailand, for, but also only for about two weeks as well. So. Okay, you are very lucky. <laughs> and what about you? Will you oh. take this chance to travel and see your friends, your family a little bit? Yes, yeah, sure. I will also visit my family. Uh, I was already um, in Nong Khai, so um, I was a bit, I was five days ago here before. Um, and uh, yes, after the program, I will visit my family in uh, Chantaburi. Oh, so yes. you have um, family in different provinces, yes, yes. and you flew you flew here before the rest of the participants. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, in Khai, can you can you speak um, Isan? Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Bangkok, but I have um, so my family is in Nong Khai, in Chattaburi, and in Bangkok. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's very interesting. Um, before we take a break, I'm I'm just curious, how many languages can each of you speak? Well, that's difficult to say. I think fluent is German, English, and then there's Thai, which is sometimes I still have to think about the words, and then some French, some Latin, a little bit Italian, and that's about it. Wow, wow. you're quite global. <laughs> Can you say something a little bit in Thai for our listener? Um, <laughs> And uh, what about you? Well, I'm uh, fluent in uh, English, German, and Thai, and um, the other languages. Um, I think I wouldn't say that I'm fluent because uh, out of practice, actually. But um, mm. due to uh, being a historian, I really have to read a lot of languages. And um, right now, it's uh, Portuguese, actually, the most important one. Did um, Did you both study Thai at the university level? Um, yeah, at my uh, bachelor's, uh, at my BA, I uh, did attend some uh, Thai language courses so to learn how to read and write. It's it's wonderful to hear that the universities in Germany offer Thai courses. Yes, it's great. And of course, 
Oh yeah, uh, fluently uh, I speak three language, um, so Thai, German, and English, and a bit, a little bit French. Wow, that's that's great. Um, I'm I'm very grateful that they can take their time a little bit, just right off the plane to um, have a talk with us today. Thank you very much. Uh, let's take a break for now, and I will be back with more special guests from Germany. Welcome back to News and Views. Um, I was interviewing participants of the youth pro um, youth visit study visit program of the German youth earlier, and we are now with the other four participants. Could you introduce yourself a little bit, please? Okay, my name is Dominic. I'm a student from University of Hamburg. I'm studying Thai studies in my fourth years, and I. I learned Thai since four years, and I have been one year in Konggen University last year and this year. And I am interested in Thai language and the Thai culture because, as a as a child, I was on holiday in Thailand with my parents, so I was fascinated by the culture and by the people. Yes. Okay. Hello, my name is Stephanie. I am half Thai, half German, and I'm studying Asian and African studies at the Humboldt University in Berlin. And um, last year, I studied at Jolalongon University, language and culture. And now I'm joining this program because I want to learn more about economics in Thailand and lifestyle, more about the culture. And you? Um, hello, I'm Miriam. Um, I'm studying my master's in modern South and Southeast Asian um, societies and languages at the Humboldt University. And um, yeah, I actually um, started learning Thai in 2013. So, but I had a little break in between because I was living in Vietnam for a couple of months, so I haven't had time for learning Thai. So uh, I'm learning Thai approximately one and a half year now. Did you study at the university? In? Um, study Thai language. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right now I'm studying at the university. Before that I studied at the CM school in Paris. It's, um, um, it's organized by um, a female Thai who was studying um, political sciences in Paris herself. Oh, it's like a tutoring class, yeah. basically. Okay. Um, hello, I'm Lana. Um, I am Thai. My parents are Thai, and um, my dad has grown up in uh, grew up in Berlin, and my mom um, moves to Berlin since he uh, sh since she knows him. And um, yes, I am studying area. Asia, Asia, Africa um, studies in um, the Humboldt University in Berlin too. And yes, I, I never had the chance to um, learn in a u university in Bangkok or Thailand, um, but I'm hopefully um, waiting for that chance. Is this your first time in Thailand? No, it's not the first time. Um, I visited my family always, my grandma and grandpa. So I'm just gonna ask you guys like a few like you know trivia questions like about everyday life in Germany. So, um, so what is the biggest difference you see between Germany and Thailand? Um, I think the people and the mentality um, and the food. Um, <laughs> I think everything <laughs> and the culture. Yeah, mm. everything is their lifestyle. I think the people in Thailand are um, friendly and. Um, they always support someone if uh, someone needs a uh, help. Yeah. In Germany, it's not like that. Yeah. And Stephanie, like, I'm curious since you're mixed, right? Mixed yeah. Thai. Like, um, while growing up, like, did you experience any form of Thai culture? Did you like? Did your mom cook Thai food at home, or like, you know, learn a bit? Did you learn a bit of Thai language while you were growing up? 
Oh yeah, um, my family, my whole family lives in Berlin. Mm -hmm. I have just one uncle here in Bangkok, and mm. so I was speaking always Thai. Oh, like, at home. Yeah, yeah, wow. and my mom is always cooking Thai. Yeah, I, I really like that. <laughs> so you grew up with spicy food then, like. Oh uh, no! Actually, my mom doesn't cook spicy oh, okay. <laughs> because she always cries when she eats spicy food. So, <laughs> yeah. And we just have a little bit of time left. Uh, maybe one more questions. Okay. Um. So, what is everyday life like in Germany? Like, oh, it's like it's. I think it's not that different from 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 Thailand. Your life in Thailand because you have your your way of life you have to do you go to university or you go to school or you go to your work and then afterwards you go home or I think German people go home after after their work after university but I think Thai people they might go out with their friends go out for lunch for dinner something like that but Germans mostly they just go home and relax yeah. I think that's what do you have for breakfast today <laughs> no, but I mean back home. Oh, yeah. back, back, down the line. <laughs> oh, back home. It, it changes from time to time, but it, I would say it's typically German because I like to eat um, dark bread with butter and honey or mm. um, cereals with milk. So it's really typical German breakfast. I, I'm very curious about food. In Thailand, there's something called Kamu uh, Yeraman, which is the fried pork leg. It's it's pork like knuckles. Knuckles. Pork knuckles. Uh, yeah. Is that common the in Germany? We are not eating it so often because it's more a dish from the south of Germany, and oh. it's also that it's I think more like a meal that you make for Sundays or at festivities because it takes some time to do that. Oh, so it's not an everyday food. No, oh, no. Okay. because then we would be all really really fat. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, being in Thailand, right? Do you experience any form of culture shock, like where you're here? No, actually Traffic, not. Traffic, I think. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> 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 I guess they're well-seasoned traveler, and they've been here quite a few times already. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very happy that um, you get this opportunity to, um, to join this program and get to visit and see. Parts of Thailand that you might not have a chance to, you know, as um, normal tourist, mm. like yeah. the previous um, participant had said. And I hope that um, you enjoy the program and bring back the good, um, you know, good uh, experience to share with your friends back in Germany. And thank you very much for um, taking your time to visit us today and share with us your experiences. And our time, unfortunately, has come to an end. And if you have any further inquiries, questions, or comments, please write a letter or send a postcard to Venus at Sawat Pum at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand, 443 Brahma 6 Road, Rajatewi, Bangkok, 10400. Or you can email me at sarandrom at mfa.go.th as well as follow me and other programs on Facebook and YouTube. We have YouTube now, so you can watch us and see who, you know, who's who and send the link to, you your know, friends. your friends and family. <laughs> exactly. The Facebook and YouTube, it's called Saran Room Radio. And your feedback will help us improve the program to serve you better. Thank you for tuning in to News and Views. Have a very pleasant evening. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka.